Good evening, crewmates. Captain Andy here. Here is some more Final Fantasy XIV goodness to continue on Clayland's quest to a Rummy Warren and future expansions. Today's stream is a continuation of previous streams, although this one to be a little bit more lighthearted in some fashion. As previously we did the MSQ, and then we also did, uh, well, for a long time we did MSQ, and then followed that up with yesterday's cult Binding Cords of Bahamut. Today's stream, the next couple of streams with Final Fantasy will be uh, a little bit light, light more hearted. We're going to be going through the classes and quests of Final Fantasy XIV up to level 50. So I'm going to be doing the quests, uh, quests for the classes, the jobs. Some will require new game plus, some will not. And by the classes, I mean, uh, yes, like Paladin right here. Along with the... Um, Examples of hand and land, such as miner, uh, botanist, and then goldsmith, weaving, etc. And I was not sure exactly how to do this. I could have zigzagged across the entire country, which we're going to be doing anyways with the quest. Uh, we are just going to go by cities. And I'm starting it off with the city I started with, Ulda. And I'm going to start with Paladin. I mentioned this before. Yes, this is a legacy character. I'm not entirely sure, I cannot remember if there's any references to legacy characters for these quests, but we will find out. Now, the quests I've done so far with Clayland was one, uh, well, I guess I did all the job classes and job classes and, sorry, the classes and job quests for all the jobs I have available so far. Uh, what I've not done, though, are the ones for the gather and crafters. So that will be new. Finally, something new for Clayland. And so, let's get started. We're going to do the New Game Plus 4 um, Paladin one. So we're going to get that started right off. That is in Tank Quest. And start off with the Gladiator. So this is, each one is in two parts for 1.0, uh, for Realm Reborn. As in, you'll see the class, in this case, Gladiator, Pugilist, etc. Followed by the job, in this case, for the job uh, upgrade for Gladiator was Paladin. For Gladiator, it says, In Ulda, no form of entertainment is held in higher regard than the gladi gladi gladiatorial arts on display at the Colosseum, many of whose champions cut their teeth at the Gladiator's Guild. Drawn to the blade and shield, you take up training under Guildmaster Mila, but soon you discover there is more to Colosseum than meets the eye. Gladiatorial arts. Let's commence. These ones should not take as long as the MSQ. And while they each have their, they have their own uh, respective story, it should not take as long. So I'd like to say maybe an hour per job. I could be wrong. We'll find out. So let's start off. Way of the Gladiator. This is obviously in Ulda. And it's in... Well, if you just, it is in the steps of Thal. It's kind of like upper lower Ulda, but I kind of like this. Instead of just saying upper, like southern Sandoria, northern Sandoria for Final Fantasy XI, they actually give each area its own respective name. Like steps of Nal, steps of Thal, Old Gridania, New Gridania, Upper Deck, Lower Decks. I thought that was cool. I actually. Back in 11, then just Sandori had up north, upper and north, south and north. Uh, otherwise, you had for Bastuk, it was Bastuk Markets, Bastuk Mines, Metalworks, and then ba Port Bastuk. And for Windurst, it was Windurst, uh, Port Windurst, and then Windurst Woods, Windurst Waters, and Windurst Walls. A lot of W's in there. Okay, so this would be the Gladiator Guild Red here. You can denote that by the symbol at the top displaying two swords. Each class and job has its own respective symbol. Uh, who do we speak with? Hello? Way the gladiator? Oh! Oh! Um. Luckily, this works. Okay, let's unequip this for a short time. Oh, this is going to be harsh. This would be horrible. 
I on folks. I didn't Man, a lot of things I don't realize till I get to it. I want to have all the skills I normally would have at this level. Although this is probably level 90 gladiator. <laughs> Alright. Give me one kick more to get this back set up properly. I can't remember how I get had this. I'll figure this out sort of soon enough. Arms length, rampart, shield lob, low blow, provoke, circle of scorn. Quickly figure this out. This looks somewhat similar. If not, we'll just fix it up as I go. So you have to actually be gladiator for this. Way the gladiator. Luletsu wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the gladiators guild. Accept. What will it be? Will you rise above the masses and inscribe your name in legend? Or, or will you resign yourself to the mediocrity and die in obscurity? Let's go. A deci decision you shan't regret. One moment. Make way for Kalen Seraph. Fresh meat coming through. Now then, before your enrollment can be considered complete, you must present yourself to First Sword Mila. Seek her out and obtain her approval. Aye, I heard Lulutsu. So you're Kalen Seraph. Just a good, strong name. I think she was in charge of the Gladiator Guild in 1.0 as well. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, Allow me to welcome you. I am Mila, Guildmaster here. So you wish to study our arts? I presume that you have your reasons for choosing the sword above all other weapons. Perhaps you, th you think it easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, but to wield it, but to wield this blade well is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there has been countless dis disappointments who failed, failed to achieve greatness. Bear that in mind before you answer me, Clayland, for I do not ask this question lately. Have you the strength to live by the sword, and it, and if be your fate, die by it? Indeed. Then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Ulda, you'll find plenty of mammoths, hornets, and shrews. Slay three of each and return here when you're when finished. A simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. This will be a slight overkill for me. But if that's what they want. Um okay. Uh we're trying to, where do I go for this outside? Which area outside? Fine, we'll just forget so. Let's just go to Central. Let's start with Central. Let's see what's here. This, uh... Hey, guys. Come on over. This is not fair. <laughs> the other one should be slightly more difficult because 
they're not as high level as Cleveland, but they're Paladin. Snapping true. in you. Hey, this has been thrown out. Oh, it's a marmot meat and a pot of honey. Oh, high quality honey too. They still drop high quality honey? Interesting, it did not really did that. It's hard to get rid of animal drops from dropping high quality items. Hmm. Guess not. Yeah, so once you're done with that, you just go talk to Mila, and then you go through a series of quests. What's well, like anything else? It's a side quest, series of quests. Now, when, for Clayland particularly in 1.0, the only jobs that she might have, there might be any references to Legacy is uh, Paladin, Dragoon, and Gold, uh, Miner, and Goldsmith. Because those are the four jobs I focused on in 1.0. I did level up White Mage and Marauder to level 15, but the only reason I did that was to so I can get access to Paladin, because back then you required uh, the main job you wanted, Gladiator in this case, to be level 30, and two of its sub jobs, or support jobs, to be level 15. Plus, I, doing this really gave me access to cure f spells from White Mage. So it, it, it had its perks. Interesting enough, the uh, support job requirements actually continue out into Realm Reborn until they were dropped. I don't remember if it's Heaven's Ward or Blood, Stormblood that got rid of them, but one of the two. Welcome back, Clayland. I take it you've dispatched the beast, and with ease. Rest assured, there will be far greater challenges to come. If you wish to master the sword, you must test yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this end, I present to you this hunting log. It contains information on creatures ideal for gladiator and train for gladiator and training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek out and, s and slay them. It is only with such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the, the deficiencies in your technique. Your training under me shall continue until the half half sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding aught else. Until then, Clayland. Ah, Clayland, I take it you and your sword have become better acquainted. Then I will now instruct you on another fundamental aspect of what it means to be a gladiator. Commanding an opponent's attention. As gladiators, we are trained to engage enemies at close, close range, whether in their attacks as we, as we deliver our own. However, there are times when we must do battle alongside allies whose talents are not the same as our own. In such a situation, your role is not to slay the enemy in front of you, but in front of you, but Rather, rather to defend the man beside you. We do this by eliciting the enmi enmity of our opponents through attacks and techniques designed to incite their hatred. You must learn to draw the enemy's attention to yourself and to trust in your stout constitution to endure. In doing so, you protect your weaker comrades who would otherwise perish. To help you understand this better, there is a task I would have you perform. It just so happens that Momidi of the Quicksand has requested our assistance. A gang of Luminson marauders has paraded into town and began harassing people outside her establishment. Men like these prey on the weak, but will turn tail and flee at the first sign of defiance. You need not resort to violence. It will suffer, suffice to show them that you are not afraid of them and will not tolerate their behavior. Seek out the Luminsons and make your presence known by bellowing, Face me, marauder! In this, in this way, you will protect the people of Ulda as you would your allies in battle. Face me! Snowman.
Mock Marauder. Just turn around and walk away, adventurer. Yet deaf, yet lost. Yeah? What the hell's your problem? Maybe she likes extra men rough. What's what's where's what's the bleed? They're bleeding lady and waiting. Ah, don't matter. You've gone and spoiled the mood. What do you say at first? The hell is you want? This don't concern ye. Bugger off. Uh-huh. Your friends are 12, 12 damn cheat. Thinks he can charge us more and catch for foreigners. But he'll get. But he'll get his own. He'll get his own back. Mark me words. There's the other one over there. Bugger off. Can't you see him having a civilized conversation with a poxy horse son? What? You been me because this little shite shat his own pants? Well, bugger him and bugger you too. Alright, one more. I guess it's that Lominson way back here because it looks like he's uh, towering over somebody. Keen eyed marauder. <sighs> you got a lot of nerve thinking you can talk to me like that. Boy, come on now. It was just disrespecting you proud seal of heritage. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave this bastard be, but we ain't finished. Alright. Ooh, inside the quick sign. Now. Alright. Me poxy yars, this is the best brew. I'd sooner drink a pint of my own piss than this swill. This who the hell do you think you're speaking to, maggot? I'm far more the driven. And me and me bloody marauders have been reaving so long, mother scared that their children with tales about us. Don't believe me words, and now let me ask do the talking. Oh, this is lively, even for the quicksand. You two going to put on a show for us? You two going to put on a show for us? What's this? Another god's damn fool? Show some respect when when you talk to... Paul Moore the Driven, leader of, the, of a troop of bloody mur mummers on, or some such. Aye. I heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Then unless you want me to spit your skull with me axe, yay better. <laughs> that sword, it couldn't be frenzy? But only the sword of Null, but bloody hells, it's you. You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? Begging your pardon, sir. Why do they always do that? <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up that lamentum was quite brave of you. And quite foolish. I think I like you, gladiator. Name's Aldous. I'd buy you a drink, but I'm afraid I just spent the last of my coin. I just used—I used to be a young gladiator, just like you. Back then, I, uh, but that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored, a seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm right now. Gods, I've missed this city, this wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. I swear, if I hadn't, 
If I hadn't seen Aldous, Aldous with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it was him. Everyone here thought he died years ago. Listen, Claylin, do me a favor and don't tell Mila about meeting Aldous, alright? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why? Well, let's just say some folk ain't good for one another. Alright. Yeah, the way how the job quest works, uh, any job in class quest, level one starts at level one, draw something level one. I think there's actually two if it's a new job. Then it goes on every five level intervals, up to level 50, so five, 10, 15, etc., up to level 50. Up to level 30 for the classes. And once you get to the uh, level 30, you upgrade to the advanced jobs. Then it's uh, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then 50. Uh, that's the same for melee jobs and magic jobs. Uh, for land, for the jobs of ga hunters, gatherers, and crafters, much like yours, starts at level one, but then after that, it's every five levels to level 50. And between 50 and 60, it's like uh, level 50, I think 52, 53, 55, 58, and 60. And that's the thing going on for every other job at that point. I've already heard of your exploits at the quicksand, Claylin. You did well at the Sendos Marauders packing. Wish we, I wish I could say we've heard the last of them. Alas, we received reports of acts wielding raiders, assaulting merchants, traveling through Scorpion Crossing. It would seem words will not suffice after all. I want you to finish what you've begun. Head to Western Finalin and see that Pafalmuro the Driven and all those who have shared in his crimes never trouble the people of Ulda again. Now, maybe a question, why do you want to do these uh, quests? Um, aside from just story. When you, you know, I just see with the new game plus, I don't get any rewards whatsoever. But when we do it for the first time, you actually do get rewards. Usually for the first lot, first little while, first several quests, is you get um, uh, experience points, a bit of money, as well as gear, which is very important if you're just starting out. Alright, so what's the finale where we need to go? At Scorpion Crossing for this and the gear thing for jobs that's for all across the board not just uh melee magic but also gathers and crafters and gear can get very expensive as you play out go on in the game that is unless you craft your own item but then you also have to gather your own items and go from there most people tend to like to get high quality gear just because it has a little bit better stats. But if you're just starting out and you're crafting, um, get the best you can at the time. If you can only cr get uh, normal quality gear first, grab that. As you progress later on, you can either make yourself or just buy a set of high quality gears yourself to offset the... Well, to, to, to better improve yourself. They, they tore me from my saddle and took everything I own. Bring my goods back to me. I beg of you. Where'd they go? This way? Okay, they go this way. Hey, look, they left there. A, uh, what do you call it? Convenient. Purple sack. Sack with purple smoke. Nothing wrong here, folks. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Magic, the pal. Gladiators have no magic. That's a paladin thing. They, they tore me. Tore me from my stuff, took everything I own. Bring back my goods back to me. I beg of you. Bags such as this one carrying merchandise are always attractive targets for highwaymen and bandits. Well, bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for good women like you, I'd never leave home. Okay.
Yeah, for if you're coming from the set of Nald, you want to just check the map. It'll show you where to go to the the Gladiators Guild is always uh, east of the Thermitage Guild. So if you're in the Sept of Null, just have to go towards the Thermitage Guild. And as you go down, keep walking, then eventually you'll come across this giant sign, which has the logo of the Gladiators, as well as uh, banners of the Gladiators. And up ahead, you'll see the one for Thermitage right there as well. Sword and Shield. All right. The Steps of Thal. Good, it is finished. And with that, the stage of your this stage of your training is complete. This time your enemies were ill-behaved ruffians, but who knows what manner of opponents you'll face in the future. Future. Regardless, I have faith you will do well. You will do well. Master your sword and you shall master yourself. Now then, there will be work for you in the days to come. Ret return to your training, Claylin. We will speak again. You look well, Claylin. I hope you're ready for your next task, because I require your immediate assistance. There have been several m violent murders recently. The victims of which were all herein men. Based on the multiple spear wounds found upon the bodies of the, de of the deceased, we believe the Lancers are responsible for the crimes. That Lancers are responsible for the crimes. Not only are these murders and blight uh, is a blight. Not only are these murders a blight upon our city. I fear it is only a matter of time before one of our own is targeted. I have just received reports of foreign Lancers skulking about in Stone's Throw. Considering the circumstances, I find it likely that these are our culprits. We cannot abide any more murders. Go to Stone's Throw, outside the gates of Nald, and speak with any you find in the area. With luck, we may find these lanterns before they strike again. Alright, let's get these lanterns. I do believe there are a couple fights where I am going to be leveled down to, uh... uh that level's respective level. To make it not so easy. Now I'm thinking back, most of these quests of Gladiator and the Paladin quests are pretty much the same as 1.0's version, although they, they made a couple changes here and there. And the final quest, uh, the final quest of 1.0 Paladin is the second to last, not the final quest here, but it's the one right before that. So they just add a little bit to their story, which I find cool. Don't kill me, please. I'm not the one you want. That's all I get. Huh. I thought I had the AO I guess it's the paladin thing? I did not know. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. They appeared out of nowhere, asked me if I was Aldous at Spear Point. I said no, but they attacked me anyway, so what did I do to deserve this? I guess I'm wondering why, uh, if you look at previous Final Fantasy from the main titles, you see names like Paladin, Dark Knight, etc. Some, some, these back, some people I've spoken with were just curious why they choose like names like Gladiator or Thermitridge for classes. Some of these names like Gladiator are actually in pre pu Pugilist, Pugilist, is actually from the Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced series. So it's, it's in essence, it's still. Final Fantasy base. And in a way, they're paying homage to not just the numbered series, the main series, but also the officers that came through the Final, through the Square Enix brand, which I think is cool. And obviously, the that you go into the Dodge of Paladin and whatnot, which I think was a uh, something Yoshi P came with during his time, brought in the job systems without eliminating the class systems. I think it's cool.
So they were, so they were indeed the murderers we sought. But what brought Duck's great freelancers all the way from the dark, from the Black Shroud? And why were they murdering Hurrian men with swords? First sword. What is it? Lancers, first sword. A gang of them hide in the tunnel south of Black Bush Station. <laughs> Seems you've not rid of them yet, Kylan. You may as well finish what you started. Go to Central Tunnel and dispatch the last of these freelancers. Bruce, accompany Kylan. See that she doesn't die. Well, I can't keep the last one getting skewered, but I'll patch her up best I can. Kylan, Kylan, defend Bruce. He knows powerful healing magics but he cannot employ them unless you keep all your enemies occupied. Make sure you command their, their full attention at all times. I'm counting on you to keep those bastards away from me. Watch me back and I'll watch yours. You have your orders, gladiators. Send these freelancers to the seventh gate. Now for those that are not familiar with tanking, um, May, as it said in the story, main job as a pat tank is to keep the monster's attention on you so everyone else can do their jobs properly, such as DPS dealing damage, healers healing. So essentially, you're going to want to get punched in the face, and you will like it a lot because it'll happen again and again and again. <laughs> in all seriousness, no, seriousness though, um,. Yeah, in all seriousness in regards to tanking, um, you need to keep the monster's attention at all times. My personal favorite when I'm fighting is just, first thing, when you get to a certain point, you're gonna, every job has its own special move or ability that adds a multiplier effect to the enemy team of every action you do. In the case of Paladin, it's called Iron Will. Which, this is a constant I'm not sure it's an effect. It's not a buff, it's more like a constant effect on your character where any action you take will significantly increase the amount of enmity monster's hatred has towards you. Which is what you want. And after that I tend to use a lot of AoE moves on dealing with multiple mobs because the best way to get multiple mobs attention. If not against multiple mobs, enemies, I tend to just go with a combos in this case I'll only have access to fast blade and right blade at higher levels you get also rage of halone all right let's go normal proceed so so iron will yeah one thing is when you go when you get leveled down for uh, an area any buffs and effects you have on will be taken off. That includes your enemy plus uh, abilities. Did just a we get them all, get all the attention on you. Is that it? Thanks, Bruce. Bruce the Big. All right, Bruce the Big. Looks like we're done here. Let's head home. I could use a drink. Can I have a drink too? No? Be interesting to see the warrior light getting drunk. <laughs> and if they want to make it more interesting, uh, they should give you options what you, what you would do in your certain situations and give the most outrageous options because your character's inebriated drunk <laughs> just to see the reactions 
早いですそうはい、フォローで、ジョニアス、Thanks for joining。Hope you're having a great time so far。Okay, so I don't see any reference so far to Re Legacy. Maybe the Paladin will. Congratulations on a job well done, Kaylin. Bruce says you acquitted yourself well. You have shown tremendous growth since you joined us. And though it pains me to do this, you have earned the right. Kaylin, I grant you leave to join other guilds. Okay. As you doubtless know, Ulda is home to both the Pugilist and the Thermitage Guild. However, there are also other guilds where you learn something of a... We may learn something of a more peaceful... Tr there are also guilds where you may learn something of, mo of more peaceful traditions. You may even join the guilds of other nations, if that is your desire. Know that I will respect your decisions, whatever they may be. So long as you do not forget that you are, above all, a gladiator. Before you head off, I want to ask you. Bruce believes that the freelancers were out for a bounty. What is your opinion on this? Aldous? Are you certain that is the name you heard? He's alive? But how? <laughs> Let's see what happens with this. Yay, armor is unlocked. Okay. Hey, yo, Claylin. You come at a good time. I have another task to, to assign you. The Immortal Flames and the Brass Blades have both requested the guild's assistance in maintaining security at Camp Drybone, a vital vital outpost along the Royal Allegan Sunway. The Amal have been raiding ca caravans with reckless abandon, creating a significant disruption in trade. Ulda has a long troubled history with the Amal so so raids are not unheard of. However, this recent escalation must be addressed. Go to Camp Drybone and search for these raiders, Claylin. I've already dispatched other gladiators to patrol the region, so I suggest you speak with one one for more information. Dry bone, dry bones. Another cool thing though, if you do all the all these side quests at the low you like, uh, if I go, go to level 50, do all the job quests, including the gather quests, gather, crafting and gather to level 50. It actually adds a little bit of... Adds a little bit more flavor to some of the other future quests. Like, uh, spoiler alert for this, sorry. If you don't want to hear this, it's just block your ears. Um, if you do all the black... Yeah, blacksmith... Yeah, blacksmith uh, quest all the way up to uh, I'm past my target, 50. Later on, I think gladiator quest. I'm not sure if it's a level 60 or level. Yeah, I think it's level 70 gladiator quest. You actually fight one one of the people you battle against is actually battling you with a sword that you created for them, and obviously you win, but still. So I'm actually curious to see now how this affects other cutscenes. 
Get down! They're still here! Huh? Oh, hi, buddy. They're gone. They're done. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Don't worry, sister. I'll be fine. Well, maybe not when the first sword is done with me, eh? Go and tell her that the Amaltra are dead. Leave the merchant to me. I'll pat him on the head. Or pretend to pat him on the head. All right. Love the sensor to your times. I knew I was right to send you, Claylin. You've done us proud. Seven hells, this place reek, reeks of sweat. How do you expect a man to concentrate on a sword play like this? Aldous! You remember me. How goes it, brother? Still waving your sword around like a feather duster? <laughs> sword around? Sword around like a feather bust duster? Yeah, I said that wrong. <laughs> you! Good to see you too, Mila, my dear. You're more beautiful than I remember. You're alive? What have you been doing all these years? Answer me. Me? Well, if you must know, I'm on a spiritual journey of self-discovery. Damn it, Aldous, this is serious. We all thought you were dead. If you were to walk in here so nothing ever happened, have you forgotten how you dishonored us? I should cut you down where you stand. Oh, that's the meal I remember. It's all fire and brimstone. I knew that pretty face would still contort itself to some terrifying shapes. Ah, don't pout, girl. I'm just having fun. But, as you wish, I'll go. Claylin, was it? Why don't you join me at the quicksand? I could use some company, and I doubt anyone else here would, would be so kind. That, that bastard... Why now, after all these years? Where's Bruce and the feather bust? Feather duster. <whistles> yeah, it's about a good hour each for each respective job. Not sure I'll get them all, all the ones we'll do done today, but. If I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. Oh, you came. Sorry you had to witness that little reunion between me and Mila. The soul of the Nald, back from the dead. You'd think I'd be greeted by throngs of adoring fans, not threats of violence. Listen, Claylin, you're good with a sword, that's plain to see. But more than that, you've got purpose. There's a fire burning, burning within you. As a former man of conviction, I can recognize a kindred spirit. Geralt named her Frenzy. She's one of a magnificent magnificent pair of swords that the drunken parody forged for Colosseum champions. The man who wielded her twin had eyes that burned like yours. Clayline, I... The hells! The hells? Oh, this sword of, sword of Nald, we've come for your head. If you do that, then how the hell am I supposed to, drink, to enjoy my ale? Arrogant fool, prepare to meet your maker. Well, you 
a bunch of impatient humorless fellas. Up for a bit of fun, Claylin. I'll lead, you follow. Just reach out Zen's again. Strikes. Thank you. you. Get your own. I'll get my guy. I right, gotta get some of this is useful here. Oh, you killed my mob! Damn you! Oh, this. I've got weaklings? Oh, one's behind me. After this guy. Finally, you're looking at me. Fight. I didn't think you'd go so far as to send a gang of cell swords into the quicksand in broad daylight. Why is it never a bevy of beauties? Let's continue this another time, shall we? I need to find a new place to drink, one with more attractive company than this story lot. Rude. Not attractive. So you don't go outside much of Ulda, you're, the city that you start with, I noticed. Until you get to the jobs, at that point you start traveling a little. Even then. My apologies, Kylan. I never meant to teach you a new technique. I'm sorry, Claylin. I meant to teach you a new technique earlier, but when that idiot arrived, I completely forgot. He's just so infuriating. <clears throat> the shield lob technique will allow you to attack from afar without the need for ranged weaponry. Since we gladiators are primarily close range fighters, the ability to draw the attention of distant enemies is a valuable asset. May it serve you well in the field, Claylin. I already have it, but thank you. Again, if you're just playing this first time as glider, Gladiator, this is how you get Shield Bob. The 
Feast of Thoth. Glaylin, I'm glad you're here. One of our members has been attacked and gravely wounded, and I need you to go and help him. I suspect that this is the work of more bounty hunters. It may even be a trap to lure more of us into the open. Nevertheless, we cannot ignore our comrade's plight. When last he contacted us by Link Pearl, he said he'd try to seek shelter at the Coffer and Coffin. Take this potion and search for him there. Coffer and Coffin is in central Than Thanala, next close to the Black Brush Station area, which just has which the Black Brush Station is that giant crystal that you see in the background. <clears throat> but the coffer and coffin is actually this little bar right here. Uh, it's near it, not inside it. There it is. Help. Help me. I can't feel my... A potent potion. Approximately 14 times more effective than our normal potion. Cool. Thank you, sister. It all happened so fast. Over by the tracks of the north. I don't know who attacked me, nor why they left me alive. But I dare say the answer is out there. Surely someone saw something. Okay. Um, there you are. The fellow aside? Aye, I saw I saw him stumble in when I left the bar to take a piss. Was alone, as I recall. You see, he's wounded. Thought he was just drunk. Suspicious characters. Well, now that you mention it, I did see a strange fellow wearing a garish purple robe. I thought he was just talking to himself, but then I realized he had a link pearl. I heard him say something about the wrong man in the Silver Bazaar. Does that help? robe? Hmm, that sounds familiar. Aye, it was him. I'd swear it. Did you find anything else? Scorpion ring. A metal ring engraved with a scorpion. Its tail poised, ready to strike. Its tail poised, ready to strike. Pick this up by the tracks, eh? It may as well belong to the bastard. Can't say I've seen its like before. It might be as my moon... Maybe as my moon could tell you more. You know him, don't you? He's a he's a bespeckled bloke who's always lounging around Emerald. He's a bespeckled bespeckled bloke who's always lounging around Emerald Avenue in the city. Of course, being the businessman that he is, he'll probably ask to be compensated in exchange. Show that ring to Waimoon. He's sure to know something about it. Alright, so if I don't get all the ones we'll uh, done tonight, I'll continue on another night. Uh, this evening will be the last stream I do for a couple of days. Oh, I'll take that back. The last long stream I'll be able to do for the next couple of days. 
Um, as well, tomorrow's maintenance day, so we won't be able to play 14. Uh, plus, I have plans for the next couple of nights. And if I am lo logged in, I'll probably be streaming another game of some sort, which would broaden my horizons. And yours as well, perhaps. It won't be long. If anything, if I do come back on the 14 during those days, I might just do like a one hour, or one hour, a quick stream of just one of the jobs, and then go from there. All right. Well, now, if it isn't Clayland, everyone's favorite adventurer, I hear you threw your lot in with the gladiators. A questionable decision given the events of recent days, but to each his own. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oi. Put that away before someone sees it. We're in the seven hells. You get one of those rings. What? Don't you recognize the sigil? Ah, goddamn fool. Before you go stumbling around in the brush, you ought to at least know what kind of venomous bastards be lurking within. It's been a long time since Old Dust seen a criminal organization rise from obscurity to notoriety. No notoriety as quickly as, as the Alacran. Word is, they've got connections to the Brass Blade, the Syndicate, and God knows who else. But you didn't hear that from me. I want no part whatsoever. I want no part of whatever mess you and your mates have gotten yourselves into. Understood? Only he a nice sort. Lovely sort. Alacran. Oh, Clayland, I was just wondering when you might return. What news do you bring of our injured comrade? He was attacked by a member of the Alacran. <laughs> the Alacran? I find that hard to believe, but no matter. One of, com one of our comrades returned from the from stones a moment ago. A gang of bandits that said it to be headed for the Silver Bazaar. They're after their man with an enormous bounty on his head. The people living there are in grave danger. If they're, fr if they're fringy to find their quarry, the bandits won't scruple to destroy property and harm civilians. In the few brass blades stationed there, it will be powerless to stop them. We must stop them, Clayton. We'll protect the Silver Bazaar and avenge our injured guildman. Guildmate. All in one fell swoop. A bit melodramatic, if you ask me. Aldous, I told you never to come back here again. I couldn't sit idly by while you charged into battle against an enemy you know nothing about. Mila, a responsible guildmaster would never risk the lives of her charges like this. Who are you to lecture me on about responsibility? Mila, listen to me. This is the this is the Al Alacran you're dealing with. So. Whatever notoriety they may have achieved means nothing to me. We'll cut them down like the common bandits they are. It's not that simple. More importantly, it's not your fight. What are you saying? Do you want do you want me, Mila? I've been fending off assassination attempts ever since I returned to Thanalan. Just stay there and let me handle this. It'll be over soon, I promise. Just stay here while you go off on your own. Is that it? It's been seven years since I let you leave, Aldous. Seven years. Do you have any idea, any idea at all what you put me through? Mila, I don't want to hear it, you selfish bastard. Do you even care what the people who suffer because of you? Just, just get out. We don't need your help. We'll settle this ourselves. Mila, wait. There's something you need to... Enough! Get out! Get out! Alright, alright. Save some of that for the Alacran. But do not let Clayling he here come to harm while you're at it.
Western Thanorn. So we go to Gate of the, Sult of the Sultana. And the Silver Bazaar is south. Right there. There you are, Claylin. Everybody, everyone's already in position. Are you prepared? Let's do this. Just take them all out. There's more of them. Choose your target. I choose all the targets. Rejoice, gladiators! Gladiators, for the day is ours! to us for a sword. No, stop! Such brittle blades, so easily broken. Perhaps the first sword is made of stronger steel. Leave her, Zana. Our business here is over. Done the of old. First sword, we must withdraw. The wounded need tending. Let us take them back to the guild.
Give me a moment, Kylan. I need to think. I wanted to spare you this, Mila. I begged you not to go. You knew all this? That, that Leovold had... Leovold and I once fought side by side in the Colosseum. The twin, twin swords of Nalthal, they called us. Never lost a match, honored by the bull of Alamigo himself. But that was then, and this is now. When I learned Leovold single-handedly transformed the Alacran from a gang of common thieves into the most feared criminal organization in Th Thanalan, I knew I had to return. It seems like a lifetime ago that the three of us used to train together in this hall. The Leovold I knew, the Leovold I knew would never stoop so low. He was a good man, strong and true. What well, would drive him to do this? When I found, when I find him, I'll be sure to ask. Unfortunately, he seems determined to kill me for my curiosity. Why aren't you? What aren't you telling me all this? I'm not clever enough to keep secrets, my dear. I'm a simple man, only capable of dealing with, with what's right in front of me. Is that so? I'll find him, Mila. I promise. Ah, Claylin. I must apologize for my earlier behavior. As first sword, my duty is not only to foster your growth as a gladiator, gladiator, but also to protect you from dangers you, you are not yet ready to face. I did not know that Leovold had become the leader of the Alacran. Had he chosen to bear steel at us, many and more of us would have not returned alive. I need to know why he's turned to a life of crime, and so I've ordered my best men to scour Thanalan for any trace of his whereabouts. Unfortunately, one of them has disappeared. I have strong suspicions that he has been taken prisoner by the Alacran, or worse. If there is any hope of saving him, we must act quickly. I would have you search for a missing comrade. His last report stated that he was tracking the Alacran near the Hammers in Western Thanalan. If you go there, you may yet find some clues to his fate. I have been far too reckless these days, and let and let too many good gladiators come to harm. Please, Claywin, find our missing comrade and bring him home safe. Western Thanalan again. So near the hammers, which is... Not as far as the other place, but still a fair distance away. I think I'm going to change the title, title of this. <coughs> it's a trap, sister! Some fine swordsmanship, Claylin. Mila, <coughs> the first sword certainly knows how to pick him. <laughs> Even after all these years, I can't quite bring myself to call her that. See, I still remember her father when her father first brought her to the guild. A wee lass who cried at the sight of naked steel. But to look at her now, you'd swear she was born with a blade in her hand. Not like she had much of a choice, but to rise to the occasion, though, what with all the trouble all this got into seven years ago. Selfish bastard. She should never, should have never, uh, but enough of my rambling. I'll make my way back to Ulda after a short rest. You go on ahead, ahead and tell Mila that I'm fine. back 
here. Clan, thank God you're all right. I heard all about the Amherst at the Hammers. Excellent work. You've been invaluable to the guild, and I cannot thank you enough. In fact, I believe you deserve a much-needed rest. Take some time for yourself and return when you've recuperated. But before you go, speak with Lutsu. I believe she has a message for you. Ah, Claylin, the very gladiator I was, I was seeking. Lean closer, for I would not have the others hear my words. Aldous sends his regards and requests you meet him at the lichyard in Eastern Tunnel Eastern Tunnelin. Naturally, I have not divulged this information to the first sword. As you may have gathered from the previous interactions, she's still rather upset with him, and would likely forbid any further association. Quite understandable, since he was clearly since he was clearly being groomed to become the next guildmaster before that horrible scandal. Ah, they would have made such a lovely couple. <clears throat> Forgive me. This is hardly an appropriate topic of conversation. Anyway, you have my word that the first sword will not hear any rendezvous with any rendezvous from me. Ooh, let's go meet all this. At the Lichard. Or Mark to say it then. Yeah. At the Lichard. All this. <clears throat> Should be able to use Rage of Halone here. Rage, I almost said Rage of Cologne. I like a woman who keeps me waiting. It nurtures the sense of anticipation. It's been seven years since Mila's father was laid to rest here. He was me. He was mean and stubborn. An old owl go through and through, but gods, when he danced with a sword in his hand, it was pure poetry in motion. Mila's right. There's no way I can know what it was like for her back then, forced to replace her father under such terrible circumstances. And who might you be? Another one of Leovold's lackeys? Master Zeofold has been most distressed since learning of your return. This is unacceptable. Your master does not deserve your loyal loyalty, kitten. When you've outlived your usefulness, he'll dispose of you like so many others. Believe me, I speak from personal experience. Say what you will, I will not be swayed. She looks awfully determined to kill me. Still, I'm not really in the mood to play. Mind stopping her? <laughs> no pressure, but I will be evaluating your performance. All right. <laughs> Just keep stunning her. Kitten has claws. She's dead. What are you talking about? Has claws. Those claws are gone. You've gotten stronger. Good. I'm glad Mila has a woman like you to rely upon. She's her father's daughter. A leader of men. True warrior. An obstinate woman who lets her feelings cloud her judgment. Which is why she needs to be surrounded by needs to be surrounded by dependable people who will give her good counsel and keep her temper in check now more than ever stick by her she needs you more than she knows she needs you how would you listen to a word I said she needs dependable people 
In case you haven't noticed, I am anything but. I'm only here because of unfinished business. When it's settled, there'll be no reason left for me to stay. I owe to her old man to put an end to this, to give him peace in Thal's realm by making that bastard Leovold finally answer for his crimes. Remember what I said, Claylin. Now go. She's probably wondering where you are. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll do it to you this way. God, I'm lazy. Watch it, the kitten has claws. Yeah, apparently it's bringing a shield at her head. Puts those claws away. That and possibly being around 70 levels too high for that. <laughs> but we're doing this mainly for story. I'm curious if there's any uh, legacy references, which I don't see yet. Maybe by the paladin side? Maybe. Why are you staring at me like that, Claylin? Is something the matter? You're behaving rather oddly. Well, I'm afraid I have no use regarding the Alakrin's movement. I remain confident that we will find them soon, though. So keep your blade sharp. This, I believe, is the last gladiator match. A match, gladiator quest. Damn it, to the seventh health, this is madness. It's Aldous. He's been arrested by the black brass blades. They claim he was plotting to assassinate the Sultana. This is utter nonsense. He has no motive to do so. And whatever I said about the man, he would, would never resort to using poison. The Alacran must be behind this. They have failed to kill him time and time again. And now they're reaching out to the monetarist, the monitor's allies. I don't want to believe why Moon when he said they had so much influence, but... Wait, that's it. If anyone can help us unravel this plot, it's Wyman. He has a reputation for knowing things he shouldn't, after all. Find Wyman. See what he can tell us. Aldous says many things, but he is not a murderer. So as I mentioned, the next few streams will be lighthearted. Some will be have new content when I start working on the crafters and gatherers. I was wondering when you when, when you might come along, Claylin. Frankly, I'm surprised all this went so quietly. You ought to know. You ought to know. There's no walking away from this. You really don't know, do you? Best I start at the beginning then. Alice is something of an enigma. He and Leovold were two of the greatest gladiator, gladiators ever to grace the blood sands. But he threw all that hard work hard-fought glory away for a few Gilmore. You see, the average old Don loves a good Coliseum fight, and what better way to make a glad gladi gladiatorial spectacle more entertaining than wagering on the outcome? So, when it got out that Aldous was orchestrating a, fa a match fix and scheme of untold, pro untold proportions, well, you can imagine the shock and anger the people felt. He was expelled from the Coliseum, and his wind was stricken from the record. Your guildmaster Mila got the worst of it though. Not only was her friend exposed as a fraud, but around the same time her father fell ill and passed away. There were some oddities surrounding his death too. It was rumored he took his own life out of shame for his disgraced pupil, or that he might have been murdered by the man might have might have been murdered by the man. Baseless conjecture really, but it made all this look that much worse. In the end, Mila, Mila lost two of the most important men in her life and was forced to take charge of the guild alone. And Leovold? He tried to go at it solo on the Blood Sands, but it just wasn't the same. Without all this, his career was finished. It's finished. Now you know the nature of the men, of the man you so desperately want to save. Though, judging from that look in your eyes, I gather you still have your reservations. 
Fine then. Though we can't blame you for doubting a man found in, in possession of Rauger's bile. Tis a vile, tis a vile poison, rare and expensive too. Only the court brigade knows how to make it. I hear. God only know why they give it to Aldous. Could not. Could go to their headquarters at this. God only why they give it to Aldous. Could go to the headquarters at the sepulcher. Sepulchre in Southern Thanel and ask him directly, I reckon. I have an aversion to direct confrontation personally, but you don't, do you? By the by, should you have should you save the poor bastard's life, tell him we're even, and that I hope it was all worth it. Southern Thanalin, here we go. I think there might have been one more after this. I don't remember. We'll see. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Hey, Rolgar's bile. Just sitting on a crate. <coughs> Instead of inside a crate. Where have you been, Clayland? Alice has been given over into the custody custody of the. Where have you been, Clayland? Aldous has been given over into the custody of the sac sacrarium. They need to execute him. We must do something. Wrinkled bill of sale. Details of dealings made between, between the Alacrant and the court brigade for the purchase of a deadly poison known as Rogus bile. And this Rogus bile, a terrible po poison made famous for when it was used to, to assassinate an Alamegan king. The, the poison, is it? The, this poison, is it? You've proof that the Alagan purchased it from the court brigade. Thank the gods, you've done it. Quickly, we must, go, we must show this to the official proceeding over his execution at Highbridge. Go now. Go now.
I can't really go from here. Can we just check? Down there. There they are. Um. I guess we go through this. If I remember right. There we go. The Sakurim has sentenced you to death for your crimes against the Sultan. Sultanate. Have you any last? Huh? Who are you? And what do you want? These are bold accusations you make, adventurer. However, the Sacrarium has found the prisoner guilty in the eyes of gods and men, and he will be executed forthwith. Don't waste your breath, Cleland. Thal's skills have always yielded to wealth above all else, and Leovold spent a fortune to secure my sentence. Silence, criminal! And you, what are you waiting for? Do it! <clears throat> Where did that... Ald Aldous! Just couldn't stay away, could you? Well, at least I don't have to steal the headman's axe. <coughs> if the gods are to have blood this day, I'm afraid it won't be mine. Since you two are so devout, perhaps you'd be willing to offer yourselves in exchange. Mercy! <coughs> Interfering with the law is a heinous crime. In fact, I believe it is, it is punishable by death. I had a feeling this spectacle would draw you here. I should have dealt with you from the start. Come, let's dance, brother. So it's to be a rematch? Very well, I accept. Mila and I, Mila and the others need you. Clayland, leave him to me. the hell? They're falling down from the sky? Okay. Hey, buddy. I mean, there's certainly a way to make an entrance. Just drop on in.
it. All this. Had me, Leovold. Stay back. I don't want your. I don't. I won't have your pity. You just had to have it all, didn't you? Just one victory. Just one bloody match. But your precious ego couldn't accept that. You ruined everything. <laughs> Tell me all this. How does it feel to lose your name, your legacy? everything you ever loved. I want to know how much you suffered. Let it go, Leovold. It's over. Like hell's it is, I swear you will you will never know peace, not in this life or the next. Leopold, no. You know damn well neither of us will see Thal's realm. Let's go. Our comrades are, are waiting. Our comrades are waiting. I'm glad you were there, Clelan. Without you, I doubt we could have defeated the Alacran. Have you ever considered the Colosseum? You'd make a wonderful attraction. Of course, you need a title that befits your prowess. Now that it's all over, now that it's all over, you'll be staying, won't you? No. Leovold may be dead, but the Alacran is far from finished. I'd rather not linger and give them a chance to regroup and seek revenge. It is a true, true tragedy that I cannot enjoy the company of all those lovely ladies any longer. But I have faith that equally radiant beauties await me in the distant lands. Aldous, I... Not another word, my dear. It's bad enough that the first sword has permitted a disgraced gladiator to fra fraternize, fraternize with her subordinates. Can you imagine the scandal she became personally involved with the man? Nevertheless, I understand how you feel, Mila. I've known to ha I've known to have this effect on the fairer sex. I should let the headsman have its way with you. That way you might learn something of humility. Ah, uh, but how am I supposed to remember the lesson without a head? Your father would, would be proud of you, Mila. Don't ever change. Uh, yes, there's one more thing I want to say to you before I go. Seven years ago, before my last match at the Blood Sands, I was given an offer, a Sultan's ransom in exchange for a loss. Leovold begged and pleaded, but I, I just couldn't do it. Call it honor or pride or whatever you like, I made my choice. In spite of all that came of it, to this day I had... I have no regrets. It's a simple thing to know what's right. Listen to your heart. 
Listen to that heart of yours, and they will never lead you astray. Trust in your comrades. Have faith in your skills, and you will triumph above uh, over any adversary. Adversity. And with that, I bid you farewell. I'd rather not have to wait seven years to see that bastard again. There's still so much, so much I want to. What in the seven hells you all looking at? This is a training hall. Why aren't you all training right now? Gee. <laughs> you think you think all you think all Tansis you think all you, <laughs> you think all it takes to stand on the blood sands of the sword and sword and a stupid grin? No. It takes years of hard work, an ocean of blood and sweat, and an unbreakable will. Every man and woman here has the potential to become a champion, but it is you and you alone who decides your destiny. Surrender me now, gladiators. Will you follow in the footsteps of your brothers and sisters and inscribe your names in legend? Aye. I didn't expect myself to get that much cheer, but here I am. That's the, the, the gladiators. We'll do the paladin and see what, how much time we have left after this. It's taking longer than I thought it would have. But also gives me perspective on how long these take. Alright, paladin part one. Why it says part one? Because part two and three are in future expansions. For the first time in their history, the Sultan's sworn elite of Ulda have elected to share the secret skills and training of paladins with the public. Improving your worth to undertake their training, you encounter a rogue paladin who, who has bes besmirched the honor of this once proud brotherhood. Genlin, Genlin, captain of the Sultan Sworn, asks that you marshal your resources and hone your skills that you might one day help bring this traitor to justice. Let's get this started. Get it started with the receptionist. Paladin's pledge. Oh, there you are, Claylin. Perfect timing. I've just heard a juicy bit of gossip that I know you're going to be interested in. Apparently, and remember, you've heard this first from me, the Sultan Sworn Elite are sharing the secret skills of and training of paladins. Incredible, I know. The Sultan Sworn have an exclusive monopoly on the instruction of paladin skills. Once upon a time, if you weren't one of those officer track elites, then you had no chance to learn the arts. And competition to get to the top was very fierce indeed, let me tell you. But anyone who joined had to swear an oath of fealty to the Uldan Sult Sultan Sultanate, which meant no more adventuring, no more daring do, and no more coliseum. Just languishing about in the palace all day, polishing plate mail. That's why this news is so big. Now everyone with a bit of, bit of commitment can learn the skills of a paladin. And no memorizing the 55 commandments of the sworn and any other nonsense either. This is a golden, a platinum opportunity that comes but once in a lucky adventurous lifetime. Let this slip through your fingers and regret will... Er, will let the, this slip through your fingers and regret will be your just desserts. You need to go to the Royal Promenade in the Husting Strips. Find the captain of the Sultan's Sword Elite, Genlin is his name, and tell him how you just how you're just dying to become a paladin. Let us make our way there. He is on the second floor, so that's where we're gonna go. Uh can't we go up this way first? <coughs> Yeah, I like this here. You actually have, have a little sign about everything here. You have like the gladiators guilds this way, alchemist is this way, and goldsmith is that way. And that's just a shop at the top. Ah, that's a choker at the top, a necklace. So it's a jewelry place. Yes, it was raining mages. Sorry, I just saw that now. Raining mages.
Yes, I am Jenlins, member of the Sultan Sworn Elite and servant to the Uldan Sultanate. Unless my instincts deceive me, you have come to inquire about training as a paladin. If so, I would have your name, good woman. Clelan, a fine name. I bid you welcome and salute your noble, noble resolve. But if you have aspired to paladinhood, you should remember what you should understand what it means. A paladin swears allegiance to the Sultanate. A paladin shall be the sword and shield of the Sultanate. A paladin defends the people of the realm. Sellswords and gladiators and others of the, their ilk wield their blades for themselves, but a paladin serves the greater good. Do you understand me? The battle arts of the paladin that the paladin learns have been held secret, nurtured, and perfected within the ranks of, ranks of the Sultan's sworn elite for nigh on the 600 years. Of those sworn to protect the Sultanate, the soldiers, the mountain guard, mounted guards, and the knights, we are the elite of the elite. Our conviction, conviction unwavering, our hearts true, our sword skills without peer. But the glory of the Sultan, Sultan sworn, well, much of it. But the glory of the Sultan's sword, well, much of it is buried in the past now. Our brotherhood grows smaller by the year. We are a shadow of what we once were. And the Sultana turns to sellswords to, to defend her pat to defend her palace. All this because of one traitor. No. No. All this because of one traitor. No. Because of a blot of dishonor left by one who shall not be named. And because of him, we have been forced to seek the help of able-bodied adventurers. And here you are. We shall instruct you in the paladin military art. You will not be inducted into the Sultan's Swarm, but serve as a free paladin. However, first you will show us that both sword and shield have metal, and you are worthy of the honor. In the ruins to the south of Little Alamigo, you will find an iron brazier. Light it, and the undead nearby will be drawn to the flame. Slay those monsters and give their hearts to the fire. Return and present to me their ashes as proof of your deed. Now, now, would-be paladin, show me the metal in your heart and steel in your blade. Shriveled hearts removed from the lifeless husks, husks of three forsaken souls who were, until recently, undead. If you are in this place, searching for the undead, then you must be a petitioner seeking the secrets of the paladin arts. But make no mistake, simply learning paladin swordplay does not make you a paladin, nor does the armor you wear, or the status you claim. I am just another aging free paladin, but you would do well to heed my counsel. Strike off the shackles that bind your spirit, lift the visor that blinds, and find the true path of the paladin. Here, you will... You will be returned return to the captain, yes? Then give him this crystal. The 
way you use that sword reminds me of a man I used to know. Mine eyes may be old, but they can see the truth well enough. Be a paladin, strong and true. Devote yourself to the way and become a beacon of light. Ciao. Looks like he's holding a katana or... Yeah. Still we have to wait to get back there, okay. All right, let's go the long way. That would be the Chamber of Rule. Face the undead monsters who fest the ruins south of Little Amigo and so southern Thanalan. Defeat them and return with proof of your deed. The trial remains with three Ashton hearts, proof that you have overcome Jenlin's trial. Yes, that's what I needed. Proof that you have defeated the undead. You have shown that your heart is true and your sword has metal. I have no doubt that you are proved to be an attentive pupil. That is well, that is well, for there is much to learn. First and foremost, foremost is this. You are a paladin now, a custodian of traditions, ancient and noble. A free paladin, paladin has no master. Instead, she travels all lands and in, and in every place takes up the cause of the unarmed and defenseless. You swear fealty not to a lord, but to yourself. You are nobility amongst adventurers. You have taken your first steps on the new path, and you have earned the right to bear this, the soul of a paladin. Upon its surface are carved the deeds of paladins of Eros past. She who bears it commands the respect of all knights of honor. Bah Bahamut's Fang, you already possess a crystal? And you say it was given to you by, by an unknown free paladin? Who told you, who told you to hand it to me? Where is this crystal you speak? Where is this crystal of which you speak? I demand you show it to me at once. Strange yet beautiful ruins have been carved upon the surface of this otherwise normal looking crystal. Curse him. He has made a mockery of the trial. The crystal you bear is indeed the soul of a paladin, but it is disgraced, impure. It was stolen from the Sultan Sworn. The man who gives you the soul is the very traitor whom I have been seek seeking these many moons. He is an oathbreaker who bent to the knee of to the old Uldan Sultan and who swore allegiance to the Sultan Sworn, but then single handedly sullied our name and trampled it underfoot until it was lost, perhaps forever. How dare he give counsel to an on honor to how dare he gives counsel on honor on the Paladin way? This soul is polluted, and I must dispose of it. When you come to wield your sword as paladin, the only soul you may wear is that which is bestowed by a captain of the Sultan Sworn. That traitor is no Sultan Sworn, let still less a captain. By giving you a soul, he insulted not only the Brotherhood, but you too. Perhaps an adventurer like yourself finds your rules nothing more than a nuisance. But through reigns long and short, our forebears and the Sultan Sworn have persevered in its rituals have perverse its rituals and traditions and we are duty bound to uphold them preserved not perversed <laughs> we are duty bound to uphold them even if men and women within our own ranks scorn them as relics it has been my fate to be named captain of the sultan sworn in these troubled times though i did not ask for this honor i have bent my knee to the sultana and sworn fealty and i will fight to restore our name honor and name you wield a skilled blade, and more importantly, you have met the traitor face to face. <laughs> the tank armor! The tank can armor! <laughs> I swear never to wear that that type of armor. When you wear that in cutscenes, when your character is supposed to show some emotion, nod your head or anything, you just stand there. No emotions, nothing. You just stand there when someone asks you a question. 
It's like talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Tra trash can armor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You wield the skilled blade, and more importantly, you have met the traitor face to face. Your great task as a paladin will will be to help me bring him to justice. You must ready yourself, marshal re your resources, and hone your skills until the time comes when you are able to discharge your duty. The journey will be long, but you are a paladin now, and honor binds you as surely as an oath. Yay, paladin! Woo! Again! Paladin unlocked. Yay! Yay, Spirit Within! <laughs> Alright, let's get this properly done now. Thank you. You have earned the right to call yourself a paladin, but how do others treat you? Do they recognize you for what you are? Remember that fancy swordplay and well-polished armor? Oops, sorry. Remember that fancy sword blade and well polished armor do not make you a paladin. You must, you must be just in your heart and strive always to be an exemplar of true virtue. Once, not so long ago, the Sultan Sworn could walk the streets and with their heads held high. When they marched by, the small folk would look upon them with, with reverence and gratitude, and no one was more respected than the captain, my predecessor. When I first saw him, I was still a child. My father had prom promised to take me to a local festival, but somewhere he took a wrong turn. We became lost and stumbled into a secluded back alley. Luck was not with us, because the next moment we found ourselves in the middle of a riot. The drunken hunters were firing arrows into the crowd, and we were caught between them. There was no way out. It was only a matter of time before we would be struck. That's when the captain saved us from our plight. I have never seen a sword move so swiftly. It flashed faster than my eyes could follow, and in seconds the hunters were on the ground or fleeing for their lives. The captain had gone down the street, slicing at their heels before my father had time to thank him. Even today, I can see the captain as he was then. Blood on the sword, armor impossibly bright in the sun. After all, after that, all I ever wanted to be was a paladin. I would practice endlessly with my sword, dreaming of bandits defeated, defeated and monsters slain. Even after I became one of the Sultan's sworn, the memory of the captain still inspired me. I was always the first to arrive in the training yard and the last to leave. And so the years passed, and before I knew it, I found myself named Captain of the Sultan's sworn. Yet the triumph was hollow, because by then, the honor of the Sultan's sworn elite, that very thing that had drawn me to the Brotherhood, was a mere vestige, like the discarded banner of a defe defeated foe. There were so many reasons for the fall, but the loss of Oathkeeper, yes, that was a mortal blow. The sword Oathkeeper was bestowed upon the first captain of the Sultan Sworn by the Sultan of Su'ulda. In time, it became our standard, the symbol of the oath we had sworn, and it was treasured by each new captain for generations. Possession was proof of Sultan Sworn command. But then the unthinkable came to pass. Oathkeeper was stolen by the traitor. It shook our brotherhood to the core. How can we be trusted to protect the Sultana if we cannot even hold on to the symbol of our fealty? We have, we have been tarnished in the eyes of ruler and ruled alike. If the Sultan and Sworn are to survive, we must, get, we must find the traitor and recover the Oathkeeper. But the Sultan Sworn have grown too weak. We cannot do it ourselves. We've been forced to recruit outsiders to help us in our cause. I have high hopes for you, my friend. It is a great thing that we ask, and you must learn more of our secrets if you are to succeed. In Outer Lanosha, near the Hamlet's Hovel, is a grove where ring-tailed congregates. Pitting yourself against a host of the beasts would be a fine way to hone the skills that, that I will teach you. In the grove, you will find another brazier. This time, filled with a potent incense that would drive the creatures into a frenzy. Defeat your attackers and return to me. T 
tin can and trash can armor. Yeah, I remember the first time I wore that, just playing the game, this is like 10 million years ago. Just playing through the game, better armor, look, stats look great. Uh, with that body piece, you cannot wear a hat or gloves or something like that. And same thing with the legs. If you wore the legs, you did not have to wear uh, boots. Great. Until you put on the armor. And it looks cool at first. Until you realize you can't move your head. You can't see your anything but your head. There's no movements with your head. And like during cutscenes, like, hey, Claylin, what are your thoughts on Amanda? You just stand there like a tree getting urinated on by a dog. You, you just do nothing but stand there. I was so glad when I got rid of that armor, and I swore never to wear it again. I will wear bad armor instead of wearing something like that trash can armor ever again. <laughs> you like that uh, metaphor of that, that, that trash can armor, Lena? <laughs> Luckily, there's not many pieces like that. And I'll give it that. When it first came out, it did look cool when it first came out. If they added a way to control the visor, so you can show some emotion, so you can see your favorite character's head, that'd be one thing, because there are head pieces that do that. But, yeah, like you said, it just looks weird. Yeah. But, <laughs> I'm going to kick myself for saying this. For those who have not worn that armor before, if you play a uh, tank, wear it once. Go through cutscenes with that, then you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> then you'll never want to swear that again. Yeah, God, I'm glad they got rid of that armor. Hey! Monkeys! Huh? Dead monkeys. Oh, hello. That was easy. All right, let's return back. Well done. You have taken the skills I taught you and made them your own. I still do not have word of where the traitor is hiding, but I will inform you, inform you the moment I do. Until then, continue your training. Woo! Sheltron! Welcome, Paladin. You should know that the word that word of your deeds have reached me. Few are those who follow the true Paladin path. With, few are those who follow the true Paladin path without misstep. But you are one of them. I am proud to call you sister. You have kept the faith. In return, I must have faith in you. It is time that you knew the truth, though it is hard to share. For it is a shame I'd rather keep hidden from outsiders. Perhaps you remember when I told you that the trait. I told you of the traitor and the sword oathkeeper that he stole. His name is Sulkzakil. Sulkzakil. And he was my predecessor as captain of the Sultan Sworn Elite. Yes, he was the same man whom I, admi I had admired as a child who inspired me to take up the sword and follow the way of the paladin. He was a paragon of paladins until, that is, he changed. Some years ago now, there was a struggle of of influence between the Sultanate military and the faction within the syndicate known as the Monetaris. The latter emer emerged triumphant, and the army's authority was diminished dramatically. Although Sol Kazil, 
Sulk Zagil was still captain. In Although Sulk Sulk Zagil, Sulk Zagil, how do you pronounce that? Although Sulk Sulk Zagil was still captain of the Sultan Sworn Elite, he knew his position was perilous, so he fled, taking Oathkeeper with him. In doing so, he went against the words that he had spoken on bended knee before his royal liege. Now it falls to me, as captain, to restore the honor and name of the Sultan Sworn. If that means cutting down my former mentor and master, I would do it, I would do it gladly, for his misdeeds cannot be forgiven. But his death will not lift the stain of that mars our name. He must be put on trial in the public court so that everyone knows his crimes. Then, and only then, can we begin to earn the people's trust again. He has served for over 30 years as captain of the, of the Sultan's Sworn Elite, and he is a, a formidable foe. Few can match his skills with the sword. Even together, you and I will find it difficult to take him alive without mortal harm to one side or the other. So, you must continue to hone your skills and prepare for the day when we, when we will face him. To complete the next stage of your training, you must do this. Go to the Ugram River in Eastern Thanalan and light the brazier we, had, we have placed there. By lighting it, you will draw the ire of the Lepidotes. Lepidots? You will draw the ire of the, of the Lepidots dwelling within the waters. Face the creatures in battle and master your new skills. The fight will not be easy. But if you take but if you take to heart with the fight will not be easy, but if you take to heart what you have learned and let the crystal be your guide, you will triumph. Okay, let's go. Yeah, cutscenes do look weird with that trash can kind of armor, but try going have, try having that being your main class. And you're stuck wearing that bloody armor. Through the main scenarios, when you're talking to people like, I don't know, uh, Merlewib or <laughs> Rao Bon. Then somehow they can see you nodding your head through an unmovable trash can helmet. I would not be surprised if they asked you to take the blasted thing off because you could not see what you're saying or doing. Oh, here it is. Hey, it's a fish. We go fishing? Yeah, I'm supposed to hit that one. These Paladin quests are a lot quicker than the uh, God Eater ones, I'll give it that. Gosh, I'm already at level 40 ones, there's only like two left? Maybe three? Good. You've mastered your new skills and made them your own. But much work remains to be done before you can face the traitor Sulkagil. Sulkzagil. We are close to finding him and our net draws tighter. It grows ever more important, important that we make ready for the moment we, when the fish must be at last be landed. I don't know what I, I know what it, he's inferring, but I never heard when the fish must must be landed expression being said. Woo! Prominence! What's that one? Oh, that's the second AOE move. Cool. Welcome, friend. 
I have important news for you. In search of the traitor, I have been looking through old records and discovered something chilling. Around the time the traitor Sokzagil was named captain, several famed soldiers of, soldiers of the Sultan Sworn met with untimely deaths. But strangely, our records do not say how they died. Curious, I begged the favor of an old friend and received permission to inspect medical records kept from by Frandel's frontisserie. Frontistery. I discovered that the soldiers died in various ways, some in combat, some suddenly at night, and in the barracks. Uh, in the barracks, but in nearly every case, there were signs that poison had played a role in their demise. Yes, poison, carefully, invisibly administered, carefully and invisibly administered. The more I read, the more I saw the dark hand of death embrace at work. Assassins in the pay and service of the monetarist. A society so secretive that few believe it truly exists. But no matter how skilled and devious the assassins, they should not have been able to kill so many of the Sultan's sworn elite without being discovered. Not, that is, without help from within our own ranks. So I asked myself, who had the most to gain from their deaths? One by one, the former captain, his trusted aides, the most capable of the Sultan Sworn who might become future commanders, all of them slain by an invisible hand. And with their death, the way it was open for Solzakil to become the Sultan Sworn's youngest captain in a century. The monetarists were plotting to kill the best and bravest, bravest of the Sultan Sworn, to purge its ranks of greatness and enervate it so that it can no longer carry out its duty to serve as Sultan, sword and shield of the Sultanate. Which begs the question, how did Solzagil remain captain for 30 long years? How did he avoid the poison, poisoner's kiss when men better than, better than him had, had succumbed? There can only be one explanation. He was a monetary cat paw, the turncoat in our midst. Needless to say, I was more determined to track him down than ever before. While I continue my investigation, I have a trial for you. I, we, I want you to seek the gallant armor, the legend, the gallant armor, the legendary remnants worn by generations of the finest soldiers of the Sult Sultan Sworn. In accordance with Sultan Sworn tradition, the set that would be yours has been scattered across Southern Thanalan. Each piece has been locked within a coffer, which will be guarded by two men. You must beat the Sultan Sworn themselves if you are to claim their armor. I hope I don't have to throw away the current armor I have. Because that would be annoying. I hope we don't have to. Alright, let's go. This is a lot easier than we did back in ARR in 1.0. They had you scouring the globe to find these pieces. But it's kind of cool they did it this way. Hey, buddy. I know magic too, buddy. Bye. I know I've got two of these. Awesome. <laughs> I did not know he can get two of these. This is going to be weird. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> All right. Next. All right, where to next? Top and bottom, okay. Hey, 
Yeah, another paladin. What level are you? <gasps> it's a newbie paladin! A gladiator! Oh, they're leaving. Really? Interesting. No, I'm gonna give these guys a, uh, an advantage. Give me one health. Or not. Alright, hey buddy. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. I think I'm just going to toss these after. Good. The hour is yours. You have learned your lessons well and honed your skills. And now you're re ready to face Solzagil the traitor. Yes, the time has come. I have discovered his hiding place and made contact through emissaries. We are negotiating the return of Oathkeeper. Se secrecy is crucial, as is preparation. We will leave only when you are ready. I'm ready. The recovery of Oathkeeper will be the first step in restoring the honor of the Sultan Sworn. I have told Sultakil that if he returns the sword, we will give him a fair trial. Otherwise, he shall be captured and thrown at the feet of, of the Sultana for, ju for judgment. The parley is to take place south of Forgotten Springs in the Sagoli Desert. Give me your map and I will mark the location. But if we believe he is acting alone, we must be prepared for anything. You may be certain that the, that the Monetaris will not take kindly to his surrender. In fact, I believe that should the Monetaris discover so Zakil is willing to parlay, they will surely try to intervene. Therefore, we must not speak what we do, not to anyone. We should travel separately so as not to attract attention. We shall meet again at the parlay. This was actually the last mission of, in 1.0 for Paladins. They've added another one after this. And with the re release and for Realm Reborn. <clears throat> Which is cool. <laughs> I just remember doing this as when Realm Reborn came out and thinking, yes, I'm done. Then they gave us another mission afterwards. <laughs> Proceed. So you dare to come. You are a brazen one, I will grant you that. But you did you really think I wouldn't find out? Come, come confess. My allies within the, within the Sultan Sworn have told me the truth. I know you are working in league with the traitor and the Monetaris. Confess with your dying breath, you will tell me where I can find Oathkeeper and the traitor who stole it. Huh? Do you dare accuse my Sultan Sworn of lying? We are comrades in arm. 
every one of us bound by in brotherhood by our oath. I would trust them with my life. What is your word when set against theirs? We know the meaning of honor. You are a naive fool. I suspected you from the beginning, ever since you showed me the soul of the paladin that the traitor souls of guild gave you. You were no matter you were no matter how briefly a paladin, and as such, you are bound by a code of honor that is unforgiving as it is noble. Traitor, I sentence you to death and decree that your body shall lie here and feed the crows. Okay. Let's go after you first. <laughs> Next, you. Next, you. Here, you get a spirit within. Go after the little one now. Okay, you're done. Alright. Me and you, buddy. How dare you use our arts against us? You taught me this, I guess. Confess, damn you, confess. Yeah, you're done. You, you cannot do this. I am the greatest swordsman, your superior in every way. You were blinded, Jin Lins, by your own conviction. Jin Lins, remember your own lesson. A paladin does not exist to defend his position or the honor of his fellow Sultan Sworn. <coughs> Those men were assassins in service to the Monetaris. The moment you outlived your your usefulness, you were the moment you outlived your usefulness, you were killed. You and this free paladin of yours. Liar! You are their agent. You betrayed us for them. You were always naive, Genlins, too willing to trust your fellow man. It's one of your vir virtues, but you have a de deplorable habit of turning your virtues into vices. Think! The information you uncovered, how did you come by it? Did it fall into your lap as if, oh, I don't know, someone was feeding it to you for their own purposes? You and the paladins under... And the paladins un you and the paladins under your command are in the monetarist are the monetarist lapdogs. Jinlins. You've been led a merry dance and followed their lead at every step. Then, you were never a traitor? You were innocent? I, I have wronged you. And he's unconscious. Easy now. Your wounds aren't mortal, but you can still rest. But you still need rest. I'll take care of the captain. He's had worse. And we'll have him back on his feet soon enough. You become a fine warrior. You learned all there is to know about the way of the paladin. I think perhaps that you are not aware just how much you've grown. Well, it is time you were made aware, paladin. When the captain's recovered, keep an eye on him for me, will you? He needs someone like you to watch his back. What the other five, six paladins on the ground? Just leave them there? <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming the exclusive 2.0 mission. Um, I'm assuming that's the same for all the jobs. With the exception of... Alchemist? No, um, Arcanist? Arcanist? That is a job that came out with uh, Realm Reborn. That was 
as well as Ninja, those who are not in uh, 1.0. Paladin, I have done you a great wrong. I allowed myself to be hoodwinked, hoodwinked, accused you of treason, and even turned my sword against you. I hope they can find it in your heart to forgive me. As for me, yes, I am recovered from my wounds. At least those will heal. At least those that will heal. But far more important than that, Solzakil was is innocent after all. Solzakil. He was never a traitor, and the dream that I followed in my youth was not a lie. I remain captain of the elite, although a poor substitute for my predecessor. I am now working on a plan to stray back at the, at the Monoterrace and restore the Sultan Sworn to its former strength. No, do not be afraid for me. We've unmasked the foe and, we, and he cannot hide behind his deceptions anymore. The assassins won't find it easy to reach me. You're right outside the front door, man. Kinda. For now, I will bide my time, marshal my strength, and when the time is ripe, Strike hard at our enemies. Cover. Cover is a great skill for Paladin. I, I found inter I try to use it when I can, when it's appropriate, but. Lena can attest to this. We found some interesting uses of cover that can. Well, it's interesting. I won't say it breaks the game, but it kind of breaks some parts of the game. And it's funny as hell, too. <laughs> Welcome, Paladin. I had hopes to see you before I left. You remained a true friend, even after the wrongs I did to you, and I owe you my trust. So. I'll tell you everything I have learned. After our encounter in the hills, I spent some time in the care of Sulkzagil, recovering from my wounds. As I convalesced, he gave me the true account of what happened what happened there what happened these last few years in his solitary war against the Monoterrace. After he went into hiding, he tried to get word to me about what was happening but I was surrounded by agent, agents in the pay of the Monoterrace who kept me isolated and ignorant. They planted the lie that Solkzagil was a traitor and tricked me into tracking him down. I was their puppet, twitching obediently at the end of the strings they pulled. But when I discovered that Death's embrace had been behind the demise of my brothers and sisters, they panicked, especially when they found out I had shared the information with you. They set a trap for us and baited it with the promise of a parlay with Solkzagil. Solkzagil was no traitor, as I should have no well known. But I allowed myself to be deceived by the whispers of mummers and flatter flatterers. And, no, there was no, there's no way of it. It was not their lies that made me blind, but my desire, nay, obsession to restore our honor. For the Sultan Sworn and all paladins who have bent the knee to a higher cause... Honor is a means to an end, not the end itself. I lost sight of that, and in doing so, lost sight of my true duty. So, Sokzagil understood what was happening. That is why he gave you the soul of the paladin. It was a remon remonstration. It was a. It was a remonstration, a message. Look how adventurers live. He was telling me. What does their honor, their, where does their honor, their authority come from? I owe my position to the machinations of the Monoterrace. They calculated that a young captain, eager to prove his loyalty, bound by unquestioning fealty, would be all the easier to control. They were right. I am a sham and a fake, but the world does not know that. And even the illusion of power is a power of sorts. I can use it to fight back. I will tell my subordinates that I am fleeing to Snowcoat and to Corthus. When the Monoterrors hear this, as they surely will, deal with an assassin's after me, again. But when they show their hand, 
I will stand my ground and fight back. I realize you may wish to offer your assistance, however. However, I cannot in good conscience put you in harm's way anymore. You too have become a target of, target of the Cabal's assassins. The odds will be against me, that much is certain. But Sol Zagil has caught me has taught me much, and I But Sol Zagil has taught me much, and if I am brave and vigilant, I know I can triumph. I'm sure you've, you have been caught up in our own political struggles. But now, as a paladin, it is time to travel on travel your own path. Ah yes, so so Gazelle wished to have a word with you as well. You will find them in cent central Thanalan. Allow me to mark them allow me to mark the location on your map. I'm gonna check something here. How come he gets the fleet of snow cloak? I can't even get inside the bloody place without going through the story. Yes, then I do the bloody story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the snow cloak. Yeah. Yeah, I'm told I have to go to snow cloak. I can't get my relic done without snow cloak. That is hilarious. What's this electric horse? Ixion. I've never seen that in Georgia. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We haven't much time and that's so I will be blunt. Jen Lins will die if he faces death's embrace alone. I know what I must do, and I suspect you do as well. If you are the woman I believe you to be, then we shall meet again soon. That's it? That was the whole message? I guess I go to Snowcloak. Can I actually go inside Snowcloak, though? I prefer to actually go inside Snowcloak right now. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, Sure, Lana. Do everything with Lars. Do all the relics with Lars. Get to the same position as I am. See how silly and stupid that whole thing is. Proceed. Yeah, this is the new mission I was talking about. Hey guys. You as well? I told you to go to ground. This isn't your fight. First Solzagil, now you. Are you both so eager to die? You forget that we are paladins. Wheresoever our duty leads us, we go. In do so of our own free will. To abide by one's own sense of justice is to embrace the paladin's creed. Sworn or, or unsworn, we are paladins true. And the only true oath we swear is the one we swear to ourselves. Now come, let us stand shoulder to shoulder and show the black arts the metal of our souls and the steel of our swords. Oh, 
Alright, let's go through the big guy. I'm tanking. Actually, we're all tanks. What am I talking about? This banker's not here. To steal my tanking. Right, no. I okay. Here guys, over here guys. There's something weird floating back here that should not be here. Hey guys. Guys. No? Okay. I guess I'll go by myself. Seriously, there's a, flo there's a floating book here guys. No? Okay. Now you're here. What sorcery is this? Likely the work of our mage. It pulses with a queer light. Above us, it's the mage, the grimoire. It's a trap. Not to be trampled with. Yeah, but he's dead, so. Oh. Um. Alright, let's get rid of this thing. This looks uh, ominous. You guys take care of the stuff that. Oh, look! More! Hey, how come they're able to catch Flash? I want to build the class Flash again. Let me just catch some Flash. There's a few dead people here.
You've done well. You never flinched from your duty. You followed the path you knew you had to take and showed us what it means to be a paladin. And you even managed to prize the scales from Jenlin's eyes while you were at it. It's been an honor to know you and to watch you grow. In any case, today's battle should blunt the Monotera's dagger, at least for a while. They'll think twice before sending s assassins after the Sultan sworn again. I trust you will see to this mess, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I mean, Captain, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Return to the capital. Take up your command again. The burden is too much for the likes of me. The Monoterrorists may have stolen Oathkeeper, but oaths are not, sor not forged in steel. They are sworn in the heart. You never betrayed our oaths, gentlemen. And as for your leadership, well, ask this paladin if she's learned anything from you. Yep. No matter what the circumstances, once the man has left the Sultan's Warren, he cannot return. No, I follow my own path and on it I will stay. I have followed you since the day I vowed to join the ranks of the Sultan's Warren. Has the time come for me to stop following and begin to lead? Bye. Thank you for coming. Once again, you have placed me in your debt. See me in the city when you return. I will have something for you. Cheesecake? I'll take cheesecake. folks let us return everyone welcome paladin the these have a troubled time for the Sultan sworn you have paladin. served us loyally the you did what was just followed the paladin way and defended the weak and needy you are a true oath keeper honor and right were yours from the very beginning and that is what made you strong strong enough to defeat me the sword oath keeper has yet to be found but I have come to realize that I do not need it Nay, not to lead the Sultan Sworn, nor to restore our good name. The oaths we keep are in our hearts, not in hollowed blades. Sogzagil has, has left to want... Sogzagil... I can't pronounce his name. Sogzagil has left to want, wander the nations of Eorzea. He is a man of honor, and unless I am very much mistaken, he will continue to look for the sword that was gifted by a ruler centuries ago. I shall continue to serve Ulda as one of the Sultan's sworn. You shall defend the people of Eorzea as a free paladin. <clears throat> Our paths diverge now. 
but we shall forever be bound by the oaths we keep in our hearts. Ah, but listen to me. Noble words aren't much good to an adventurer who has to face monsters and menaces out in the real world. Fortunately, I have something that will serve you rather better. This sacred armor has been kept within the Sultan Sworn for many generations. It was given only to those Sultan Sworn who had, through feats of arms and deeds of great courage, earned the privilege to wear it. But something tells me, for the first time since it left the armor's forge, this armor should go to someone who is not of the Sultan Sworn. If I allowed myself to be slave to tradition, the paladin who deserves, deserves it the most would never wear it. Now, wouldn't that be a waste of fine plate? Just one thing. If anyone asks where you got it, you mustn't say it was me. Yay, hollow ground. Yeah, so I won't be able to... I can't do the next quest until I start Heaven's Ward. Then I'm left with another thing in my mind. What the hell am I going to do with this? Because if I just search, I already have it. So, I can't desynthesize this. And I'm not, the one in my armory is the one I got from 1.0, so I'm never getting rid of that. So, <laughs> yep. We're just going to toss this brand spanking beautiful armor. Just going to toss it. Where's one I got just now? Good, you didn't give that to me. Good. But look, brand new gauntlets. Gone. How about this? Pants, pants, pants. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> just toss at the guy's feet. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. I don't want to get a diable version, though, man. That's my one. I keep my 1.0 stuff. Maybe the other stuff. I'm doing this for story, but apparently I had to pick those up. And that's it for the uh, Paladin uh, version of the Paladin story for Realm Reborn. Uh, What should we do now? This took me about an hour, hour and a half. Probably uh, more like two hours just to get the story portion done. Uh, look at the time, I could potentially start the one for Monk. P Pugilist Monk is be the next one I'd start with or go with. Um, Because there, there's seven jobs in total in Ulda. The one we just done for Gladiator Paladin. Then there's Pugilist Monk, uh, Thermitid Black Mage, uh, Goldsmith Weaving, Alchemist, and then finally uh, Miner. Should I start with Monk? Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Just do one drop class in night, so... Might be the best idea to do. Take a little bit of time. I will go on with the story, but I do want to just show these stories off and start with Paladin. So that's what I'll do. Um... As mentioned, the next couple of nights, if I am on, I'm not sure if I'll have time to get these done. Wednesday for sure. E Wednesday evening. Thursday as well. Uh, then this next weekend, I may not be on. Sorry, folks. I do have a schedule I need to keep, and as much as I love being on here, uh, my next weekend, I have a bit more time. It'll be in two weeks. And we'll be like that going forward until a holiday season. 
so, 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 so. Yeah. What should we do now? Lenny, you want to do anything tonight before we end it, end it off? Do a little bit of gameplay this time. It's supposed to just doing story coverage, which I will be doing, continuing. I still want to do the monk stuff too. Anyways, I'll show you where the monk guild is. Uh, Pugilist guild. I remember the monk storyline is a bit more involved than this paladin one was. Kinda, maybe. Well, let's help Lena out. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's help. Len is playing as another character. His his called uh, I forget the name. Lars uh, Lars Vexus. How can you be close to the manor if you're in Limps and Little Mints? Are you doing the uh, the ninja quest, or are you doing the? Remembrance Ceremony. Here's something funny we can do. You can do as Lars. Let's do PvP. PvP. Wow, got to say that properly. And I'm going to do it as a different class this time. Uh, let's go as... I'm not sure what to do with this. Now! Actually, I'm going to call it night here at this point. I will be back tomorrow. No, we can't. More of those maintenance. We're not gonna be back here playing Final Fantasy XIV. If if I do come on tomorrow, it'll be late in the evening, like later than now. Maybe around this time actually. Um, but with the maintenance down, we won't be able to play Final Fantasy XIV. So we'll probably be playing some other game. Uh, maybe we can convince Lena to do Phasmophobia, or we will play more Friday, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or something else. I don't know. We'll see. I'll sit down in my favorite chair here. Once again, folks, I thank you for joining. I know this stream is a little bit shorter than most, as I mentioned before, it'd just be a short -ish stream. I didn't expect this story to be to take this long, but in a way I'm kinda glad. It shows that they did put work into these stories. And as a stream I just focus on mainly the paladin story, gladiator paladin story. It still took us nearly about two and a half hours, give or take. So, next time we'll work on Monk. I uh, might split up Monk in two. Might just do the Pugilist one night. If I do it, well, we'll see what happens. We're going to raid someone. Let's see who should we raid tonight. Who is online right now that we can raid? <laughs> I may regret. I'm uh, first. I read someone that's a uh, very 
who is well known in the Final Fantasy XIV community, but let's do it anyways. We're gonna raid Ms. Tech. See what happens. If we're allowed. Alright, once again, thank you everyone for joining. I hope you all had a fantastic evening. Hope you all take care in the future. I will be back later. Wednesday for sure. Tuesday, maybe. We'll see. Until then, take care. If you like what you can see, see click on like and follow. Be notified of future events. Until then, take care and have fun. Did it. It's her best side. Her underside. <laughs> thank you very much for helping me, friends. That was awesome. Capitain Andy, thank you very much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream too. Welcome. Ugh. Time for the next one? Yeah. Do you have it unlocked? Because we can probably do at least like one or two. Basically, when she wakes up and she's no longer compliant, we will have to stop. How's stream been? Pretty good. Get my mount. Oh, thank you. Uh, achievements? Is that it? What, did I, what is it? Let's see. Bura Bura Chochen. Oh, it's the lantern? Ugh. Hey, nerd. Hey, how's it going? 